So tomorrow morning, we'll get to it. There's gonna be a, it's gonna be a three-man crew on this one. What we're gonna do is all somebody mixing the stucco, and then uh, you know, like in the wheelbarrow, and then we're gonna have somebody passing the stucco to the person that's gonna be applying it. So it'll be kind of like this chain. Um, we just knock this thing out real quick, hopefully. These columns, as well as this wall, they all get painted. Um, same color as the house. So because of that, we don't need to use um, like a color coat concrete. And because the texture of this house here isn't like perfect, uh, it's not bad but we can match this texture with, uh, with uh, one coat on this block wall. Um, and then we'll just paint it. So we'll, you know, trowel it on with the steel trowel and then float it with, the, with probably the green sponge trowel that will match that texture of the house. And then we'll just paint it. So it'll all look the same. Okay, so right here, we've already done the texture. And right here, we've just put it on with the steel trowel, like he's doing now. And uh, I'm about to put the texture on this with the, uh, with the sponge float. So we do want to have some water. I want to constantly dip it, but um, basically, let's see if I can get a good shot of this. Don't, if you let the sand build up in there, it kind of uh, doesn't come out right. So just keep redipping. And don't do full circles necessarily. I just do like kind of like a half a circle. Because um, if, you, if you muck around with it too much, it also messes it up. Uh, so we just kind of feather it in to the existing stuff we already did.
<coughs> all right we stuccoed all the way down this wall it's just drying here that's why you see the discoloration at the moment but um what I'm going to do is actually mist it, uh, especially down over here where it's drier, so that it can um, dry a little bit slower. I'm going to continue to mist it over the next few days. Oops. Concrete takes about 30 days to fully cure. So, um, you know, the, if you can mist it every day for, the, for that long, keep it kind of moist and let it dry very slowly. Um, it's better for it and it'll help it from cracking um, but right now there's no cracks um, it's real good and I'm just gonna spray it off real quick and because um, we opened up the pores with the with the sponge float and didn't just uh, use the steel trowel on it. it it's going to allow it to uh, breathe and uh, not crack as easily. If, if we didn't use that green float to um, make that texture and we just used the trowel texture um, and went that thin, then it might have cracked. Shouldn't have an issue because we opened up the pores. Okay, so three days later, this is how it looks. No cracks, not even any hairline cracks or anything. So it came out really, really nice. Real pleased with it. <laughs> 